animations and click up are freaking amazing. So let's not go all crazy and let's start with the five must have automations to make your click up life easier. And once you get those, go on right ahead, go all crazy. Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Hyman with AskEV.com and I am a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. And if you're ready to systemize, optimize and automate your ClickUp, you're perfectly right here. So go hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my pro tips coming up. Now today I want to talk about the five must have automations within ClickUp specifically for digital entrepreneurs and content creators. Often enough, we are working just with a small team and automations can make our lives so much easier by simply taking some of this footwork, data entry, having to click all the things off of our back and saving us some brain power too. So let's start with number one of my favorite automation, which actually is not an automation. It is a ClickUp feature that automates things. What I mean by that? Let's head on over to my ClickUp and I'll show you. Right here, I'm just in my personal list. And when we look at this, and this happens literally everywhere, it doesn't matter where you add a task. If we add a task right here, now there's a whole bunch of stuff we need to do and we need to assign and we can do the due date and all the things and hit save. And did we actually assign it? Did we actually not? Here is tip number one, which again is actually a ClickUp feature rather than an automation, but I've seen it forgotten so often that I wanted to make sure to mention it here. If you are working on your own tasks and you don't want to go through all the thing of assigning and doing and whatever, use the me mode. When you are in me mode and you set a task right in here, as you already can see, it is automatically assigned to you. You don't even need an automation for that. I have seen a lot of people set up an automation that says if it's in this list, assign it to that person. If that person is you, save yourself all the automations and potentially have to pay on top of the automations you already have. Just use the memo. It really is that simple. Click save. Look, that actually is. Now, if I go out of me mode, you're going to see both of those tasks that I manually had to assign and that automatically were assigned that easy. Automation number two must have is specifically for my content creators. I love this automation. Now for this automation to work, let's use my example on my YouTube channel. You've probably seen that before. I've been talking about this. I have my YouTube channel content production videos thingy in a folder under my marketing with my idea list, with the in the works list, as well as the published list. Now, I also have content stages in here. Those are the stages. It's a custom drop down field. Those are the stages where I can show where in that process my task is. So am I prepping for this video? Am I recording the video? Is the video and editing? Is it published on YouTube? Does it now get published on the blog? Is the evergreen social media campaign starting? Now with that, this automation is amazing because as you can see, that custom field is in all of these lists. Now, when I take a video from idea to working on it, I move it to edit. I just choose edit in here. Wouldn't it be awesome if the task would automatically move from ideas to in the works because I'm it's getting edited. Actually, I kind of jumped five steps right here. Let's just record it first before I send it off to my YouTube guys, right? But wouldn't it be awesome if I choose a specific content stage and it just automatically moves to the next list? I don't have to move it to in the works. We can do that in automate right here. First of all, there is already a few automations in here, as you can see. And there's multiple one. If we are doing prep, for example, it moves to in the works because that's the first step after the idea. But let's just show you how to do this automation. So in this case, you are looking for custom field changes. And that is the custom field of content. If you can spell, you actually find it content stage. And here we can get really precise. Do you want this to happen when the content stage changes to record from any other stage? Or do you only want to do that when it changes from 
prep to record. That is your choice. I like to go from any to record and then move to list. And then we need to find that specific list, which is YouTube in the works and done. Now, little pro tip right here. You also could add an action of adding a template that takes care of all the things that need to happen when you were recording this video. Just on a side note, you can do that right in here. One thing you need to pay attention to when doing these kind of automations, where are you setting these automations? Are you setting them on a folder level or are you setting them on a list level? In this case, when tasks move from one list to the other, you need to set them up in the folder level. In other cases, you might want to set up the automation on list level so that automation only runs in that specific list and not in the folder where it would run in multiple different lists at the same time. You got to figure out your triggers. Got it? Cool. Let's move on to my automation number three. And this actually has solved a huge issue for me. And I'm going to show you why and I'm going to show you how. I have talked about this setup before. There's a video on that, so go watch that if you want to. I am using ClickUp Forms for guest submissions, which then create a task in my speakers list. Cool, that's all fine. Now, the problem with this is we don't have any notifications that somebody actually submitted a form. It's not like form on your website where suddenly you get an email. No, with that, in this specific speaker list, this is my list of vetted speakers that I have invited that I know I don't need to make sure that I'm working with them or not. We go into automations right here. So to make sure that we get notified when there is a new submission again, we already vetted it. Look at this in our automations right down here in our email integrations. And I hope you got email set up with ClickUp. Then there is a when task created, then send email. And let's choose my account, select. Look at that. Now, what's happening here is we are in the speakers list. Again, all of the submissions that are coming in here are already vetted. So it's not going to be a whole mess of emails because everybody just submits something. So when a task is created in that speakers list, send an email from me actually to me to ev.com. Cool. We don't need to CC anybody on it. Subject field, new speaker submission. Awesome. If we want to go crazy, we even can say task name. My task name is the speaker's name. So I know exactly who submitted the information right in there. And then what you can do is say, go check it out. And what I do is I do grab the URL of that list so that I can go back and I literally just link back to the list when I get the email and I see everybody that's coming in. That's how I handle it. And you hit create. Now with this automation, every time a new speaker submits the information, you get an email that says, Hey, he just submitted his information. Go make sure everything is right and go make sure you are ready for that live show. And while we are here talking about speakers and speaker submission and all the things, there's two ways you really can make sure that you are going to take action when a speaker submits the information because you need to check the headshot. You know, I talked about that. I wanted to make sure you guys know again in here, we add a automation that when a task is created, we add the template, not team template, but actually template. And we are selecting the task template for the live show. No, actually the guest submission that adds the tasks of go check the headshot and make sure that is all working. Go follow up with the speaker, say you got everything and all the things you need to do the moment a speaker submits the information. You can run this right in here, but as you know from the other video, you also can add this template straight in your editing view right over here the moment the form gets submitted and becomes a task. So you got both ways. Sometimes there are moments where you really want to decide, do you want to apply that task automatically with a form submission or do you want to do that on the side 
when it actually is a task because sometimes it's either or the moment you have to choose if it's either or you can make it based on a drop down i'm going all crazy if it's a simple adding a template just do it in the forms if there is a decision that needs to be made based on the contact form submission and a decision in there just do it on the task level and you'll all be good now, last but not least, this is actually one of my favorite automations right now, and it's external. So we are going off of ClickUp and we're actually heading over to Publi where we are making a YouTube automation happening. As you can see in my YouTube setup, I have a published list with all of the videos that are published on my YouTube because most of them are fairly evergreen. We want to do more things with it. We want to build more micro content. It needs to go on the blog and all the things. But I don't want to sit here and have to do all of that because between the information that is happening when I record the video and the actual published video, there's often information that changes. I'm tweaking the title, I'm doing things. So with that, I really wanna have the newest information of the video possible. So with that, I have an automation over at Publi Connect, this cutie right here, that pays attention to my YouTube channel. When there is a new video on this YouTube channel, it first of all pulls all of my custom fields from ClickUp to make sure it knows everything and all the things that need to get added to that. And then it creates a task in ClickUp, as you can see in this workspace, in my marketing space, in my folder YouTube, in the list published. The task name is pulled from my YouTube video. We are pulling in the title, not pulling in the description much. We are, however, skipping the due date, skipping the start date, setting this to do because we need to start working on this. And now if we go lower, this is one of the reasons I use Publi over any other automation software. We are pulling in the YouTube URL, which is a combination of the youtube.com forward slash watch piece, and then actually the URL that has been pulled from YouTube for whatever reason, the URL right in here simply doesn't give, no, it does. Look at that we now have a new field. I can simplify this now. This is what happens when you don't check your automations regularly. You suddenly see that there's other things possible. This right here is the watch URL. As you can see in my setup, I did end up using that piece of the watch YouTube and then just add it works the same way. You can make it easy now, long story short, and really just grab that watch URL right there to be able to go straight to the watch page of that YouTube video, as well as I am using a publish date as a custom date field and it's pulling this right in. And the moment this is running and a video is published on your YouTube, this is how this is gonna look like. You have the YouTube title, when was it published on YouTube? You have the YouTube link and you can go straight there to watch the video with ads and all the things, which then allows us to continue the workflow of the YouTube video creation on what are we doing with this now, putting it to the blog, adding it to our evergreen marketing, all the things, whatever else comes in your workflow after this video has been published to YouTube. Now, if you want to learn more on how to systemize and optimize your digital business, your content creation, go check out the Academy with a continuously growing collection of templates, courses, and even freebies. So go check out the link down in the description and I'll see you soon.